I wonder if I say this name to you, what goes through your mind? Jay Slater. What goes through your mind when I say the name Jay Slater? What do you think happened to this poor young man, Jay Slater? A lot of in, there's a lot of theories going around on TikTok. A lot of people have got different views on what happened to Jay Slater. Guys over there, what do you think happened to him? He's on what? He's stuck on a cactus, this man says, okay? Okay, girls over here, what do you think's happened to Jay Slater, okay? For those of you who don't got, no, he's, he's gone missing in Tenerife. It's, uh, it's upsetting the world, it's upsetting us. You might say, why am I talking about Jay Slater? Well, if you've got an opinion about him, can I have an opinion too? Anyone else going by, what are your thoughts on this man who's gone missing? You see, when we hear about a young person that goes missing, it breaks our heart, doesn't it? It does something to us, it makes us sad. But can I tell you something else? Do you know, Jay Slater right now, as far as we know, he's lost. But did you know something? You're also lost. There is a God in heaven who is your father. And if you have not yet come to him, been reconciled, you are lost right now. Just as lost, even loster than Jay Slater. Right now, you are separated from your God. But the Bible says this. There's a story in the Bible called the prodigal son. Some of you know it very well. There was a young man and he said, do you know what, dad? I want all of my inheritance now. I want all the money now. I want everything. And he went off, spent all his money on partying. And then eventually he realized it was all empty. He found himself at the lowest point ever eating pig food, okay? And then he eventually thought, do you know what? The servants in my father's house are looked after better than me. They're not eating pig food. So I'll go home to my father and I'll say, will you take me in as a servant? What did the father do as soon as he saw his son on the horizon? He ran to meet him with arms open wide. My dear friend, you know God wants to do that with you today. Doesn't matter what you've done, doesn't matter what a mess you've made, doesn't matter how lost you are, whether you've spent years partying, whether you've gone into different religions, the God of the Bible wants to meet you right now and he opens out his arms and says, I'll welcome you in as a son or daughter. I'll tell you why, because on the cross 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ died for you. Do you know they spat on him? Do you know they smashed the crown of thorns into his skull? Do you know they plucked out his beard? They're the most innocent one, died on that cross, not because he'd done anything wrong, but because he was innocent, but he was dying there for your sin. Guys, your sin put him on the cross. Joe Kirby's sin put him on the cross. But the good news is this, if you come to the Lord Jesus Christ, he can wash you white than snow. Now, it feels a little bit like winter right now. Does anyone, has any, can anyone remember a June that has been this cold? We're in July now, but can anyone remember a July that's been this cold? It feels like Christmas, doesn't it? But when it's Christmas, when it's winter, when it snows, snow does something, doesn't it? It cleans the streets. It cleans everything uh, around it. And the Bible says that the blood of Jesus Christ can wash you white and snow. It can clean you up totally. Now, what's special about today? Can someone tell me what's special about the 4th of July? Someone tell me. It's the election, isn't it? No one cares? I think some people do care, my friend. Have you got anything smart to say? I'd love to hear from you, my friend. I can't hear you, sir, but I'm just saying, if you can give the people hope, we want to hear from you. You can stand on here and talk. We're here to tell you about hope, okay? Now, Many people, okay, they, they look at the election. And I wonder if I ask you a question, who are you voting for today? Which leader do you think is worth putting your trust in? Which leader do you think is worth being the leader of the UK? Because let's be honest, we've had a pretty, pretty shocking uh, amount of leaders recently, haven't we? We've had a pretty bad track record. But is there any leader that you would put your faith in? What about Rishi Sunak? Do you think he's going to be a good leader? No. What about Keir Starmer? Anyone think he's going to be a good leader? Nigel Farage? Some people might say Tommy Robinson. Some people Donald, Donald Trump. Uh, Biden, Joe Biden. Who is a good leader? Who do you think? The problem with all of these leaders is they all make a mess. And it's very, very hard in 2024 to be a leader. It's very, very hard for me right now to stand up on this box because we hate leaders. There's one leader who will lead you into righteousness. There's one leader who cares about you. There's one leader who really does listen when you call out to him. And that's the leader, the Lord Jesus Christ. Have you put your trust in him? Have you put your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ? 